Hey there YouTube, uh, this is Van Zeeben from Designs by Zephyr here, and uh, on this first, uh, this is going to be the first of many videos on how to code Java. Um, the reason why I'm doing this is because I'm going through school and I'm learning how to code Java as a software developer as well, and um, so I'm just going to be pretty much documenting my process and helping, just, just showing you guys what I know and uh, so that you guys can learn as I learn, so as I progress, you progress. Um, these videos shouldn't be too long at the moment because I can't make them too long, they're just what? 10-15 minute limit on these videos, so I'm just going to try and condense it as much as possible. Uh, I'll probably be coming out with a couple new videos every weekend, maybe three or four videos a weekend, uh, just just to keep you guys updated and stuff. So this one's going to be mainly about uh, downloading Java, how to get started with the editing and configuring some uh, tools and some knowledge and stuff. So first, you want to get the you're going to want to get the uh, Java S the Java development kit. Okay, uh, so so oh there it is SDK. Okay, so, uh, the difference between the JDK right here and the JRE is the JRE is for general users. It contains just, it's kind of like the, um, it's kind of just like a base thing. The JRE contains the Java Virtual Machine, which sits on top of your computer and tells, and um, kind of just tells everything what to do. And the, uh, and the Java API, which contains a bunch of classes and stuff about Java, which we will be using as well. But the big thing about Java is um, the reason why I'm teaching you to code in Java is because Java is a multi-platform uh, language. C# -sharp is a lot better for most for Windows, but for C# -sharp you have to code for each specific platform, and you'll have to change your source code uh, depending on the actual platform that you're coding it for. But Java is cross-platform because of the J the um, JVM, which is which the coders or the developers or whatever coded for each specific um, operating system. So you'll be able to run it on any operating system with the same source code. Okay, so it's pretty simple. Uh, you, so the JDK contains the compiler, which compiles the source code into bytecode, which is then used by the um, the JVM to convert it for, to the coding for any operating system. And it also contains the JRE. So you get the JRE with the JDK. So you just go to a download JDK. Uh, choose your operating system and your platform and all that. I, I'd be I'm a Windows 32, so I'd do just Windows and then agree and continue. But I already have it installed. And then we're going to need an editor to write the source code in. So I use Edit Plus because it's the default for my school mainly. But uh, you can also use Eclipse and stuff like that. But uh, if you want to get Edit Plus, there it is a paid, I believe. Um, oops. Yes, okay, anyways. It is paid, I believe. I'm not too sure about that. Uh, link will be in the description. I believe that there's... Yeah, it is paid. You can try it for 30 days. Um, I'm sure you can find it somewhere else or find something else somewhere else. If, if you really are having trouble with finding a, a good uh, j a editor for Java, just contact me and I'll, I'll help you out. You can contact me. Uh, link's in the description for that. There'll be an email that you can email me at. Um, so yeah. So once you have the JDK and the Edit Plus installed, you, you'll know that you have the JDK installed. It'll go through the installation, you'll be kind of confused about where it is, but you'll, you'll have a thing called Java and then JDK 1.6.0 underscore 2.3 or whatever it is. But it'll be in here, and this is your, your JDK. As you can see, it also has the JRE. And the JDK has a compiler, which is this right here, Java C, okay? So when you want to, after you finish writing all your source code, you would have to go into your command prompt, and you'd have to write, Java C dot exe and then type your file name and all that to convert it into source code or into bytecode sorry so instead of doing that because that's kind of a it's just kind of a long process to do so we're gonna have we're gonna have some tools in here as you can see compile and run we're gonna write those so that it automatically does it so just go to configure user tools here go to add tool program we're gonna call it compile okay your command is going to be you go to do program files, okay, and then go to Java, JDK, go to the bin and look for Java C or Java C.exe. It's the same thing. And then click open. Your argument is going to be the file name, okay? Your initial directory is going to be the file directory. And click capture output and make sure save open files is on. Then we're going to add the run program, okay? So you just new program and then you go run command is going to be not in the JDK this well in the JDK but not in the bin this time go to the JRE once you're in the JDK and then go to the bin and then go to Java it'll or java.exe okay the argument for this one is going to be file name without extension and the directory is going to be file directory capture output and save open files now I already have these two already up there so I'm just gonna cancel but you're gonna have to apply an okay 
and then you should have these two here which will allow you to compile and run straight from uh, Java so if we were to type something which you'll see in the next one actually we don't even have to type anything because this is this is what the default Java is um, this is what pops up whenever you start a new program or when I do at least so I'm not going to be teaching you uh, about these terms here mainly I'm just going to be telling you what they do right now um, this is the main method right here that is the main method okay and um, you always have to have this because this is the first thing that the J that the uh, Java virtual machine will look to in your source code you can have a thousand different classes and a thousand different methods and stuff but you need to have one main method okay so that it knows where to start and th this whole thing is a class okay as you can see class um, just preference oops and uh, what you're going to need after this is your file name okay so we're just gonna call this uh, temp just just to start off but this is going to be your file name they have to be exactly the same otherwise it will not work okay so this is the file name right here this is your main method this is the method body anything in these parentheses here is your method body and this is where you'll put whatever you want now as you can see yes it does come up with your first program hello world okay and uh, if I save this quickly and I save it as on desktop YouTube if I save it as temp because that's what I did save it and then I compile it with control one and run it you'll see it say right here hello world okay so that's all that does really but that is not what we want this is not going to be our first program because this is too simple and it's frankly it's built in uh, so that, that's not too interesting so I'll show you the hello world program in the next step but um, yeah so I think that's pretty much all actually for this one uh, you may hear me say command instead of control it's the same thing I'm just on a Mac um, so it's and I'm using boot camp to run this as you can see right here boot camp yay but I am on a Mac so it is it is I'm, I'm used to Mac terminology so you may hear command just just disregard command and think control instead so uh, next video is going to be about uh, how to code your first program your yeah your, um, your first program so I will see you in the next tutorial and uh, this has been Van Zeeben uh, remember comment rate subscribe and uh, you can you can email me at vanzeben at designsbyzafir.com. All the links are in the description. All right, thank you.